live from Austin, where John the Baptist is your hype man, and we're all different. Well, I'm not, but it's going to be a great night. Now, once the writer's strike is over, watch for that Columbo reboot starring Fisher Steven and Bad Brad Print. Oh, and also, here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Oh, 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 hot damn, hot damn, hot damn, googity god damn, jam, slam, bam, hooray for them. <laughs> Didn't realize I was going to do a rock, but you're right, yeah. And I'm stuck in that. What's up, Justin <laughs> Robert Young? We are dealing with the strike. Because <laughs> during the strike, you can't always do things. Uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's not. Look, we're going to make a lot of jokes here tonight, but that's true. During a strike, you can't do things. That's the nature of a strike. We should point out that all of the jokes that we're making were written before the strike. Yeah. Also, we've pre-grown our beards. We have. Take that. We're like House of House of Dragon. Yeah. House of Dragon exactly is shooting, but they're like with them. old scripts. Yeah. No new scripts. No new scripts. Someone's going to be like, well, the dragon should light a cigarette. No. Yeah. Knock it off. Go to Walgreens. Strike. Sorry, no new scripts. Nope. All the scripts are out of stock. That's right. They're behind the... Plastic, and no one's, no one's going to get the key for you. Demand for Adderall at an all-time low. You know why? Ain't nobody writing. Ain't nobody working. Consolidation. You know what? Yep. WGA, hear us out. What if we told you? Yeah. We've already written. <laughs> we've already written. Try that again. Take two. Uh, Take nope. two. That's the way the script went. We've are written. That, it was written that way. <laughs> We've are written. We've are written. We've are written. It's too late. We've written it all. Yep. All of it. There's nothing you can do. Studios. So, Hollywood. Hey, Hollywood, come get us. Yeah, come at us. You want to know what? Fuck you, Hollywood. Yeah. Wow. You know why? Yeah, all the studios. Warner Brothers. Deutsch, Netflix. Deutsch. <laughs> George Land Brothers, Deutsch, Par- Deutsch Par- Marx, Paramount. the uh, the, the other gang. ones, Universal, CW, get them, get them get- all out of here. We stand in solidarity with the solidarity. WGA. Solidarity. We're even more <laughs> solid than anybody else. We're gonna, we're gonna stop us. the pickup, the Brad pickup line. Brent, uh, all of us, <laughs> yep. solidarity. We're solid. <laughs> <laughs> all sorry. solid. I mean, oh, what are you? All in all right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> while we're on the topic, Hollywood, what are you gonna do? Get on the four hundred five? Come on, it's four thirty. Yeah, not doing shit. Yeah, dickheads. Yeah, fuckers over here thinking that they can survive the strike. You know what's weird? What's weird? <laughs> what's weird? Come on. What's weird though? Uh, A lot of people have been wondering that. What's weird? <laughs> Ge- gemstones. <laughs> Gemstone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just in general, like, why? Why the Earth poop those out? I didn't do. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> come on. What's yeah? A lot of people wonder about that. <laughs> Geologically, they're like, uh, "What happened? Was it like? Is it like the Earth's hemorrhoid? Is it?" <laughs> Because I wish my hemorrhoids went for that cash. You know what? I'd be a rich man. If every Justin. time a little fucking polyp on my ass <laughs> just fetched me some fat cash, I'd love it. All right. Let, let me just throw this out here. Oh, we didn't like where we went with that. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a rich fucking pitch. Yeah. I felt like I turned it around. No, yeah, you're right. Fuck me. What if we were to hire some writers? <laughs> no, we can't. We can't. We're we're stolid on this. All right? We're not hiring writers. All of our scripts were pre-written. Let's go ahead and go to our first topic, Bryce. Mando Truth Hurts. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, okay, real quick. Yeah, now we, I'm gonna we, rip we, Hollywood we, writing. <laughs> we need to we need to hire writers. <laughs> 
Mando. All or, right. So you I, so you have not seen this episode. I've given up, man. I think it was the fourth episode of the this season. Might be the fifth. I'm not sure. It's the fifth. I think it was the. Fifth. It's the fifth. The Mandalorian last and last one I watched was was the one where uh, 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 Werner von Braun was hanging out having some blue milk with friends, being like, "Oh, I mean, we all agree that being a Nazi was not great, but wasn't it wasn't it kind of neat to have projects to work on while we were Nazis?" So yeah, that was that was the one before, or maybe yeah. two ones before. Yeah, uh, this one. I forget exactly what the the conceit is, but uh, Mando and Starbuck uh, have to go <laughs> to another planet with Baby Yoda. I remember that. Okay, can we reenact that scene? Listen, Starbuck. I, no, honestly, no, no, no. We can't. We can't do we, this because it's going to be even dumber. We, we, no, no, no. Oh, can I? Can, let me explain right. this fucking like episode to you because if we, we we might run into dumb shit that I want to make fun of. Okay. All right. So they go to this other planet, and initially, I love this episode. I actually like like wide swaths of the beginning of this episode because it puts one of our favorites, Jack Black, in a role. He was Sorry? kind of born to play. I have no idea. Is is he is he playing like a a, a a space flute? He is playing a sovereign of a utopian world that is fully a direct democracy, uh, but they are the aristocracy, and his wife is Lizzo, the singer, and he is being delightfully campy Jack Black and he's got his big beard and he's like oh Mandalorian like come here we have a bit of a problem yes and yeah. so because of di uh, direct democracy they have these malfunctioning former battle droids that are killing people bad but the direct democracy says that they cannot kill the malfunctioning battle droids uh and so they need, uh, because weapons are not allowed, they need uh, uh, Mando and Starbuck to kill the battle droids. I, uh, Brian is now looking at Jack Black from this episode. And when I say fully erect, I mean it. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> The only thing that upsets me is that I know you ended up not enjoying this episode because this picture right now is amazing. Is everything I've ever Great. wanted in my entire life. Great cameos. Great, amazing cameos. So here's where you first know that this episode is going off the rails. Uh, they're sitting at this banquet. <laughs> what, they're was, sitting at this banquet. And uh, Lizzo, who has like three lines up to this point, just goes like, that's a cute baby. And Grogu jumps up and just lands in her lap as if to say, I want no part of the bullshit that's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay in this very uneventful B plot that is literally just watching Lizzo play bocce ball. That's the B plot for Grogu. And you want to know what? He made the right choice. He made the right choice going to that thing where nothing happens. Because what happens next is a by the numbers Nash Bridges episode of we got to find out what happened on the black side of town. With, uh, uh, and, and with two characters, right? Starbuck what? and Mando. Starbuck and Mando, Jack Black not in this. No, Jack Black's like... like I was only contracted for one day of shooting. Uh, uh, it's obviously not on the same set that Christopher Lloyd's on. Don't worry, that's foreshadowing. Uh, and then they go off and they'd have a whole nother adventure that does not really involve Jack Black and Lizzo at all until the very end. Uh, I, I believe we have some audio, Bryce, if, if, if you want to play it. It's like... Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, click. All right, listen. Uh, I'm... The Mandalorian and your Starbucks, so let's go find out some stuff. That 
is me tossing to you, Bryce. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> uh, you just want to impro- No, I, I swear to God, there's no impro- I don't watch the show! This. No, 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 there's nothing <laughs> I didn't say dumber. the show! There's nothing dumber than what happened, okay? <laughs> or, you know what, let's- More yeah. offensive. Okay, look, it's, it's very follow bold. me on this. It's follow me uh, on okay, this. Okay, all right, all right. So, they go down to, like- at this point, it could be any shitty script from the 80s before we were racially enlightened where two white cops go to a uh, immigrant part of town or a black part of town. One cop is enlightened and the other is racist because immediately Mando is like, I don't trust droids. Droids are droids are stupid and lazy. And Do I they go to them. droid town? They go. To, <laughs> hold on. So first, it starts It starts with them talking to a, a droid leader and saying, droids are killing people. And the, uh, uh, the, the droid leader's like, there are no killer droids here. So Mando just starts kicking them. They're walking, carrying shit, and he keeps kicking fucking one droid after another until <laughs> one of them finally goes crazy runs out into the street, and they murder him. They just kill the droid that Mando kicked enough that it ran away. I mean, well, it sounds like he proved his point. Yes, that droids are inherently evil. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so then they do what happens in those episodes. They wind up going to the bar. You know... The droid bar. Oh, no. Uh, Bryce, I would like you to play <laughs> droid bar appropriate music right now. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. I wish it would have been better. It would have been better if they, if they in any way played this for laughs instead it's the <laughs> same scene you would see in any oh we gotta go to chinatown we gotta go to the black side of town episode they walk in and all the droids who have little uh, uh, straws in their mouths because they're drinking droid alcohol sure. uh, are just slowly turn to the door to watch the humans come in and the humans walk up to the bartender and they're like hey we 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 need we have some hard questions to ask you, droid. Just quick pin and everything. Yeah, you're trying to convince me to not watch this episode, right? Uh, you have <laughs> because to. this you sounds amazing. You have to. You okay. have to watch it. It is okay. Uh, uh, bleep blop bloop. Uh, uh, turns out Christopher Lloyd still a one, alive. A zero a zero a yeah. one. Uh, 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 Christopher Lloyd still alive is introduced in uh, one scene, and he's like. I control all the droids, and certainly I can't shut them off because the direct democracy. There's also a creeping thing of, like, democracy's bad in this episode, which is also weird. How uh, much money did Andrew Heaton get paid to do this? Yeah. So then they figure out it's the droid alcohol that is making some of the droids crazy. Oh, no, not the... Not uh, the uh, are they it, talking it, about my people? They... Uh, Just saying, and then they, are they find talking out about one third of my people, <laughs> and then they find out that it's Christopher Lloyd that was feeding them the droid alcohol so he could affect direct democracy or whatever. They go confront him, and he has a big red button where he Christopher Lloyd's his way through a monologue of like, "I'll kill him, I'll kill him all by pressing this big red button." Ah, I got shot by Starbucks. Fuck me, I'm Christopher Lloyd. Uh, <laughs> They then go and bring them to Jack Black and Lizzo, okay? Now, this is something that I need to get through because you need to understand is that Grogu has not been in this episode at all. Lizzo's holding him, probably because it's in her contract because she's a fan of the show. Uh, she then lets him go and has her most extended monologue of the show, which she delivers so flatly you assume that she's evil because she's not, she doesn't have any emotion in her voice. 
Yeah, and hard. then the scene just ends and you're like, oh, Lizzo just sucks at acting, which like, like not to say that she's a bad actress, you know, like it could be direction. Oh, also Christopher Lloyd's also in the scene, but it's very obvious that they were not there on the same day because they are always shot reverse shot. And, and they're like, Christopher Lloyd's like, how do I do it again? The crazy droids. And Jack Black's like, you need to calm down. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, and then, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, which even makes it weirder that it's Bryce Dallas Howard that did it. Uh, you have to watch it. It is a uh, uh, racist. I think it's racist. I think man, I think Mando is like, like there's a fine line of walking the, like we need to read in uh, emotions to others. And then there's let's do the Nash bridges, Chinatown episode with droids. Wouldn't, wouldn't you also say just, just to put a, maybe a button on it that, by by Mando and Starbuck wearing the outfits that they were doing, they're kind of in droid face. Would you? Oh, uh, I don't think I'm that woke yet. <laughs> I might. I aspire. I aspire to be that woke one day. I aspire to be that woke. But there we go. Me complaining about an episode that came out two months ago. Ba da ba. Uh, <laughs> That this is what it looks like when I'm seriously considering dedicating the next two and a half hours to us recreating the entire thing. But uh, <laughs> this is also what it looks like when I do the responsible thing of saying, oh, Bryce, next topic! It's a me disappointment. <laughs> All right, here's a fun game. Oh, by the way, this entire... Um... This entire A block is us complaining about things. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, you better run WGA because we're coming for you. Because uh, last time we looked, you weren't WG or A. Uh... They were neither writing a guild nor Americans. Yep. Uh... Damn. So, uh... Damn. Call the cops. Wow. Woo! Had a big, had a big moment. Uh, one of our uh, team members, after six years, is departing, and so uh, we went and I was like, "Hey, man, let's just go do something together." And we ended up seeing uh, Dungeons and Dragons for my fifth time. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, after that, my wife said, uh, 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 "Well, hey, all of our children who are here in Austin would like to watch the Super Mario movie." And I thought yeah. to myself, uh, "Well." Uh, Appears to be quite popular, and uh, I myself like Super Mario. Super I, Mario, I yeah. Memories going all the way back to you know uh, before the side scroller adventures. Yep. Uh, Justin. Yeah. I think Illumination Studios has never made a good thing ever. I you mentioned this in the pre-show meeting, and it made me rack my brain. I don't think I've ever seen an Illumination movie? Of course you have. You've seen The Secret Life of Pets, right? Nope. Oh, that's right. You don't have kids. Uh, you've seen Minions, right? Nope. Oh, that's right. Yep, you, 40. You, yep. you yep. don't have kids. Uh, yeah. You saw Despicable Me, of no. course. Oh, okay. that's no. Right. No, 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 no kids. Um, no, 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 no. Secret Life oh, of no, Pets no. 2? No. 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 Okay. No, All right. No. Uh, Minions to no minions no on patrol rise of Gru no yeah no uh it's terrible Justin it's next level terrible and I don't know how it keeps getting me I watched five minutes of it when they uploaded it on Twitter this weekend <laughs> and I thought that was pretty funny what they were they were in the real world and uh they had a commercial. That was the first, like the the Super Mario Brothers commercial. And Tur then, turns out they could do a very good two minutes at Illuminations. And then and then they had the original guy. They're like, oh, is the accents too much? And then the original Mario voice guy was like, no, no, it was a perfect uh, wahoo. Yeah, uh, like, uh, there was also like for a brief second, I thought like, oh my god, they're throwing shade. Like for example, uh, a dog chases him down. The dog exactly looks like the up dog from up. Uh, and uh, I thought, okay, kind of clever. They're throwing shade at Pixar, and uh, uh, the the big bully, uh, something something. He's in a wrecking business, so it says uh, "wrecker" on his shirt. Like, oh, they're riffing on the fact that Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph is yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. a rip off of you. Uh, 
everything after that was... Uh, Wait, why was it bad? Well, uh, I've already... Did you like Jack Black? I've... Did you like Anya Taylor-Joy? I've already... Did you like Chris Pratt? Uh, Did you like Charlie Day? I have experienced the tutorial levels of every game that was made into five minutes of, you get it? Because of the game. Uh it was, it was that. Funny. It was just. It was. It was all kind of like like it's not awful. not not it's another awful. not it's another awful. video game it's movie awful. where they were just kind of doing references to the fact that games exist. So uh, the funny part to me was uh, Callie asks, "Dad, did you like the movie?" And I said, "Oh man, we had so much fun. It was oh. really, it was really a oh. delight to I see how much you means. enjoyed it." And she goes, "Yeah, but did you like the movie?" I was like, you know what my favorite part was? Is the fact that all of us were together watching the movie. And then she said, yeah, it's, I kid you not, and you know this is true because you know Kelly. Yep, yep, yep. Kelly's like, yeah, I've noticed that you're not saying whether you liked it or not. <laughs> and I said, uh, you know what? It's not for me. And, and she's like, did you like the movie, Dad? I said, no, it was terrible. It was a bad movie. <laughs> Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. Uh, well, yeah, there you yeah. go. And that's why it's made a kajillion dollars. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. That's why it's made yeah. a billion. I like the original So wait, so, movie. so wait, so, like, I, I so it just doesn't it was connect. too simple? Like, yeah, like, I, I don't know, I don't know what was bad about it. There, there, there's no, I, so. Because also, sometimes you get betrayed by movies because you make a promise in your head about what a movie is going to be, and then it's not that. And so I I, just, I I want to know whether or not if I saw the movie, would I be like, oh, Brian obviously hated it because there's all these disconnected plot points and it's kind of a mess. Or am I going to be like, Brian thought Super Mario Brothers was going to be a musical and it wasn't a musical and nobody knows why Brian thought it was going to be a musical, but he was viscerously, uh, viscerously uh, viscerally. upset, viscerally <laughs> upset by it. Viscerous. He was sorry. viscously upset. We're running off the old scripts. <laughs> we didn't spell check. Strike. We didn't spell check the old scripts. Uh, honestly, yes. I, I I will never know how much of uh, my experience has directly to do with the fact that I watched uh, Dungeons and Dragons in the theater for the fifth time. Yeah. Because I knew for a fact that you could make references to a game and also have it be. Oh, what's the word? A good movie. Uh, and so too reference dependent, too nostalgia fucking. Uh, I, 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 it's fine that it was reference dependent. It's not fine. Well, that no, no, no. They you, know, you don't, you don't want anything. anything funny. You, don't want, you was, don't want anything to be reference dependent. You want everything to be reference independent, e existing, right? Yeah, like, yeah. You want like, it to be like, oh, uh, 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 this is this cool moment from the comic book. I didn't see it coming, but. They built up to it. They made me care about all the all the characters involved in it. And then this big moment that I kind of knew was going to happen going into it did happen. That's very exciting. To to state it plainly, we uh, uh, if you watch the movie Dungeons & Dragons, you could have no idea what the game is or anything at all. You will have a fine time. It is a well-crafted, excellent script that flat out is not possible with the Super Mario movie. I don't know why anybody would sit through all of it. It's awful. Except for a global audience of, like, a gigantic cash turbine. This, this movie is making jillions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. It's a massive hit. Why? Why am, are you asking me this? I, you're the one who saw it. Uh... Because I literally don't know why. It's yeah, a bad movie. It, it, it's because uh, it has Super Mario on it. Yep. And that's that's. It turns out I think I, I saw something that was like, I forget who the number one IP is, but it's like it's not even Mickey Mouse or anything like that. It's 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 something else. And then Super Mario was like number two globally. Like there is just an unparalleled understanding for children about what Super Mario is. Uh, so. Maybe it was just it was just a uh, time, Brian. Uh, I have a suggestion for you, and yes. you did a great job, and you said it before. But there's a phrase that, as you get older, you learn this phrase. Yeah, it wasn't for me. 
just have to go, yeah, well, we, there will be things that come out. You have no idea why everybody else likes it. You just go, you know what? That wasn't for me. There is one phrase that is better than that, and I should have adopted it all <laughs> night long. It's Justin Robert Young's very own original phrase. Haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> You should have looked Look your daughter. You, to you, see you should have looked your daughter <laughs> right in the eye. Dad, yeah. I was there. Yeah, <laughs> you drove me. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I, sorry, yeah, I, I didn't see it. it. I look forward. Did you like it? <laughs> then I'm sure I'll love it. But boy, haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen it. Are you afraid Mario's gonna black blacklist you? He's gonna blackball you if you say that you didn't like the movie too fast. Uh oh no second the movie for Brian. No residuals. They play all the music so much. <laughs> it's it's like because like, it's iconic. Yes. Da, 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 da. And the first, second, and third <laughs> times I heard those themes, I thought Hooray! Boy. That's from the games. <laughs> and around the fourth, fifth, and sixth times, I thought. <laughs> On the seventh time, I got all. Price <laughs> 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 next topic. <laughs> whale beef. <laughs> Who's got uh, beef uh, with whales? Uh, uh, streaming. Major blockbusters and indies. We hate everything on this show. <laughs> everything sucks ass. Bryce. Hooray for the strike. Everybody buy content cheap. Ah, caramba. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out, man. We gotta we gotta we gotta walk the line here. We gotta walk the line. We got we got, we got line? people. No, we got people. No, nah, I mean we got people on the line, man. We yeah. gotta we gotta we gotta stick up for our people. Yeah, you ever see Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh, I will see the third one on yeah, Thursday. Man, like, oh, by the way, do you want to go on Thursday? My wife left town. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. like, just, just, just. Uh, I only have two seats. <laughs> it was for me and my wife. Sorry. Big, big there's only, there's only, only the room way. in the balloon basket for two. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, Bryce, do you want to join us? <laughs> Just imagine if Groot was made of scabs. That would be me. <laughs> I am scab. <laughs> Ew. That's gross. That's gross, oh. Groot. Sub Mel Brooks. I watched The Whale over the weekend. Yes. The Brand Brendan Frazier. Was it Aronofsky who directed it? Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Did he chop off that dude's arm? Did he chop off that dude's arm? I don't even know what the joke is, but Brian found <laughs> it really funny. Yeah, Avatar 2, our, our previous. Oh, yes! <laughs> what? That, the that best has nothing to do scene with. scene in the movie. <laughs> that dude, that yeah. whale free willies a motherfucker and cuts his arm clean <laughs> off, and they fucking show it. James Cameron. What no. a fucking legend. <sighs> R.I.P. Uh, any other any other whales you remembered that you want to get out of? Or? I'm good. I mean, it's, there's not even a whale actually in the movie. It's a guy. It's just fat Brendan Fraser. It's a guy. It's a Brendan Fraser in a fat suit. Yeah. Um, I think the movie's uh, interesting. It's very sad. I, I don't know what it's about. So can can you give me a brief sketch of the plot? Yeah. So so Brendan Fraser uh, is an online uh, English teacher. He teaches English over over the internet, but he keeps his camera off because, uh-oh, he has a binge eating disorder that he gained after uh, his uh, boyfriend killed himself. Um, and it's a lot about uh, trying to reconnect with his family that he ran away from for love uh, many mm. years ago, reconnecting with his daughter, uh, who fucking hates his guts. Um, and uh, I... I, I I was rather looking forward to this movie. Uh, I, I'm a fan of the the story of Brendan Fraser's comeback. It, huh. it sounds like maybe yeah, it's not good. Hey, hold on, uh, Bryce. What what was the saddest scene in the movie? Oh, Jesus, just give me a, a just uh. just just set the scene. You have to tell me what happened. Just set the scene. Sure. The saddest. Well, I mean, in fact, it it starts it starts off pretty sad. Pretty sad. Uh, uh, you've got Brendan Fraser, and he's on. He's sitting on his couch. <laughs> and he's got his laptop open. <laughs> and you can see 
and you hear the. You hear, uh, uh, uh. Uh, he is very loudly watching uh, gay porn uh, and is uh, 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 overcome with emotion. <laughs> and a missionary knocks on his door. <laughs> he mistakes it for someone else and says, hey, come on in, it's open. <laughs> and, and he's like grabbing his chest. He's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> we 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 didn't know whether or not to play uh, the you died sound. So he goes and uh, uh, he's he's like uh, uh, read this. He pulls out from like from under where he's sitting like a uh, like a folio like a little folder. Does he got his junk out? Is he is if he's watching the porn? Is he got his tool out or like he was not wearing pants? Gotcha. <laughs> so you, we we are assuming that, but he's also a very very big man. So who knows what covered situation? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And so uh, uh, he's like read read this read this. And the kid, this missionary, is like, uh, okay. Uh, 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 and is just reading this very uh, amateur review of Moby Dick. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, at the end of it, uh, not the movie, but just the end of the sequence, he goes, oh, I just, I needed to hear that. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> That's sad. That's kind of sad. That's very sad. Yeah. So I, I did not, how, know, I, I did not know that this was a play, but yes. but uh, Brett, you said that a friend of yours played the lead. Yes, my friend, uh, uh, not related to me, but his name's Shannon Weaver, uh, mm. here in Austin, did it at the Hyde Park Theater, and this was one of the few times it was shown as a play. So it was a very limited run before it went uh, into being developed for a movie. Oh, so so... It, it was like just a hot script as a play. It was performed only a few times, yes. and then they immediately... Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And, and so that when we were talking about it earlier, I made the joke, well, I wish Shannon Weaver was here because... He could mention things that you know were, were about that character. So wait, yeah. Bryce, yeah. Uh, this sounds like a real laugh-a-minute romp. Why did you love it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just every 20 minutes, the saddest thing that could possibly happen happens to this yes. dude. Yeah, I, like literally every time I was stopping and saying like, oh, this is the saddest fucking thing in the world. Surely we're getting close to the, the to the climax of the movie and it would just be another 20 minutes. We just made it another 20 minutes until the fucking saddest thing that could possibly have been said was said. Fuck. So I, it's kind of just like realized... Curb Your Enthusiasm, <laughs> but with like like depression. Yes, it is a sadness version of Curb Your Enthusiasm. So instead of cringe, instead, instead of, cringe of like, anxiety. oh, my God, I can't believe that you push this this forward. It's. Oh my God, you're such a fucking failure, and the world is awful. But then also, he's nice, and he he he's positive, and he means, eh. No, uh, uh, when when you mentioned that every twenty minutes something worse happens, I, I realized I have seen this movie because the opening scene is uh, him. Uh, he's trying to use Apple Pay, and they don't take Apple Pay. Yeah. And then what happens? Is there a setup? Is well, and then later on, you know, he drives his car and. And he uh, uh, sees a uh, football game, and he's like, John got it. That was my team that lost. And then. <laughs> yeah, and then what happened? 20 minutes later. You want to know what? I'm with you. We don't need your writers. <laughs> We already got, got this. We that got the our. Script they gave we him. got. We got our fucking <laughs> font right here. And then what happens? Tell him. You no, tell no. him, Brian. He, he shows up and he clearly orders McConaughey's, but they only have electric jellyfish. Jellyfish. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, take a nap, <laughs> scribes. <laughs> 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 You don't need to do shit. We got your replacement right here. Fuck Chad GPT. This is Bry, hero to thee. <laughs> 20 minutes later, he tries to use his lightning port on his iPhone. What? But it's gotten degraded over the last few oh. years, and he realizes he should have upgraded last year. The fucking Kaiser Soze going on right now is... <laughs> That that only the, the three of us might even this 
<laughs> oh, I have no idea where this is going. Uh, uh, the right. saddest part is when he remembers that he's at only 240 of the 400 push-ups that he needs to do. <laughs> oh, there uh, we go. There the music. And, and now he's subtracting them, which is there what we agreed is. on before the show, is that all the push-ups tonight are actually this negative push-ups. So he's I'm working nice. his way back, yes. guys. Yes. We're back down to 100 push-ups. Wow, that's so He's brave. been doing a lot of negative push-ups before the show as well. So yeah, Brian, you're back to 100. Congratulations. 260. 100. 100. 100. 100. There you go. We all stop. <laughs> nice. 260. Uh, we have one more topic. We do have one more topic. Let's go. Greatest con update. Our scripted episodes are out and our interview episode is out. The show is at uh, its most bingeable right now. Right now. Right now. Uh, in terms of all, like everything that we have recorded and produced is out right now. Um, there will be one more episode that'll come out next week, but, uh, we are working on that currently. We would encourage everybody who listens to the first five episodes to please send us your emails with questions and thoughts to world's greatest con at gmail.com. Thank you to everybody. And I cannot say this enough in terms of sharing this around your friends and family, uh, on social media, please continue to do what Brian and I asked you guys to do. At the initial, at the outgoing, talk to a friend. Call a friend. If you dig it, if you think somebody in your life would very much enjoy it, give them a call and say, hey, I think that you would really love this. That's what actually spreads the word on shit like this. But um, this this has been a, a, crazy, a crazy journey. This is one of those moments where sometimes we're sincere, sometimes we're playful, and I don't know which direction to go, but... Uh... Uh, uh, this this is the best thing you and I have ever done. Full stop. I would say so. I think it's it, it, it is something that matters. It's a story that matters to us. People that that you know, we both had you had more of a relationship with Banchick than I had going into this. Either of us had a relationship with Mike, uh, but now they are both uh, friends to me, and they will be friends uh, for for forever because it was very very. Uh, it was an honor to kind of tell their story. And what is fascinating is something that happened totally on purpose, certainly not accidental. Uh, uh, people really found that fifth episode to be kind of a necessary coda on the story in a way that I was not expecting uh, and probably belays the fact that we were... <laughs> You know, shitty storytellers in, in, in the first four episodes. I, 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 but it doesn't matter. We win. We get across the finish line. It doesn't matter uh, 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 how, how you get there. We, we we still ordered everything to happen the way it happened. So uh, I'm, I'm thrilled because normally that kind of stuff is uh, extra. It's supplemental. It is the, the cast reunion episode that happens after a reality show. And uh, this time it was something that people really, really, really found necessary, which I was happy to happy I, happened. I, I think we could go full honest and sincere for just a few minutes here. Uh, uh, it was a bit of a surprise to me. I, I don't know about you, Justin, but uh, I was a bit surprised that our two heroes were perceived as villains by half of our audience. And that upon episode five's release, some of them said, uh, yeah, I guess they're all right. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get that feedback specifically. The feedback that I did get was that they had unresolved sins in the eyes of the listener that they were happy were resolved in five because they got to spend time with them and they got to hear in their words specifically the way that they talk about this kind of stuff. Because what, what might come off, and part of it is our shaping, I mean... In episode two, we turn the episode into an 80s buddy, like, romp, right? Like, it, 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 yeah, it, it becomes Porky's 
yeah. like halfway through. Uh, so we are giving the listener a very specific idea of what it was like to be, you know, <laughs> a, a hormone addled uh, late teens in uh, uh, 81. Right. Uh, and so you might form some opinions and then you might feel for Peter Phillips and some of the folks at the Mac lab uh, where these boys conned people into thinking that they were psychics. And uh, uh, you might think, oh, okay, well, they need to, you know, uh, atone for stuff. And maybe they didn't enough in in the process of our scripted sco- uh, storytelling. But it's very clear in their voice and in your interview with them that they really, really, really were affected by it. And, and I think it's going to be safe to say, and you will hear more in our sixth episode, uh, are still affected by it. Uh, I was going to ask how comfortable you are just just saying a little bit, I, because this is like last 24 hours kind of thing. Uh, do, do we want to tip a little bit about what we found out or hold everything? Um, Let's tease it. No, this is no, it's gross to tease it. That's why it's like either we didn't mention it at all, which I think would have been my preference, or, yeah, but, or but, we but, or we tell I, it. I, so I, I was profoundly affected. Yeah. Uh so we found out through A, there was indirect communication with people who worked at the Mac Lab with us. And and then also with uh Mike. Uh, specifically of the two Project Alpha boys. Um, We have since found out, I presume through some indirect communication uh, between the two parties, that one of the two lead researchers from Project Alpha is no longer with us. Uh, And it is the youngest of the two. Uh, Peter Phillips is the older. If you remember from our story he decides that a younger person needs to lead these experiments because psychic phenomena needs to be coaxed out. It cannot be rushed. It cannot be harshed. So he uh, puts in Mark Schaefer. And uh, unfortunately, we found out and through subsequent research confirmed that uh, he got into a bike accident back in 2018 and is no longer with us. But we all found that out. Myself, Banachek, uh, Brian, and Mike Edwards. Uh, Mike Edwards broke the news, and we all found that out yesterday. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the reason it was profoundly affecting is because uh, uh, if anybody who's listened to the first five episodes uh, heard what we were trying to say, these are two kids now adults who never had their story told right. And there's a sense that like, you know, almost like, you know, uh, let's say NPR serial or whatever, like maybe, maybe us telling the story would lead to a moment of reconciliation or whatever. Yeah. And it, 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 it was a bummer of a moment uh, uh, just yesterday to find out that, not only were we finding out that certain threads of that can't be repaired, but but to watch our principal characters figure that out. And so it, it, we don't know what happens from here, but uh, that that was a powerful mom- moment. And to be honest, it was a, a, a testament a testimony to just how good this show is. I'm really proud of it. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm very, very proud Main, of the craft. Mainly the narration. I, uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what, what, I, what, I, what do we do I, now? I don't even know. Where do we I go with this? That we brought the, all the mood down to zero. We recalibrated the mood here. Should we, do we need a fart joke? Do no. Do we need a penis joke? You know what? Brian, put your penis into the mic. Put okay. your penis into the mic. Put your penis into the mic. My mic has, or my penis has a very <laughs> peculiar voice. Here it comes. <clears throat> Click. So you can I desperately wanted to not talk for this reason, for literally this reason. Uh, 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 yeah, Sorry. world's greatest con. Download world's greatest con. Uh, uh, 
All right, P. Mark Schaefer. We'll, we'll, we'll talk more about it. We'll talk more about it on the show. We can't end it with his dick talking, Bryce. We can't end it with his dick talking. We have to end that, and then we begin a new thing. Thank you for letting me yell at you so we had a graceful exit out of that <laughs> ecosystem, and now we can propel ourselves into the galaxy of Patreon. Oh, oh who's that? Is that Channel 5 on my left? No. Oh, he's canceled. No. Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> is that is that uh, 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 another murder podcast on my right? No, it's not. Oh, my God. Brian's penis? What are you doing <laughs> flying through the galaxy of Patreon? <laughs> It's just like an I try to value endocrine journalism. <laughs> you need to clench your teeth the entire time. I sure do. Wow. Wow. Patreon.com slash great night is where Brian's penis heads. That's where <laughs> Brian's penis goes every single night to make sure that it's bathed in money. Yeah. Yes. Patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> every time that we get a new subscriber, <laughs> Brian's penis smiles. And you will hear what I was going to give you, Carol. It's an audio bit. Why are you doing it? I don't know why you're making it totally unintelligible. <laughs> I, 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 because I'm not very good at ventriloquism. <laughs> but it's not a... Okay. <laughs> It's fine. I mean, if I'm clearly talking, then people will know it's not actually my dick. Come on. That will be the, yeah, that's going to be the, <laughs> yep, the nail the in the coffin for that. It's because they can see your lips move. Clear out the vents. <laughs> Obviously, it was not his dick. It wasn't his dick, Brent? It was his dick. Oh, it was oh. not his dick. Theater of the mind. There we go. Theater of the mind. Yep. Brian's dick was talking. Yep. Yeah. That It's accurate. I can't imagine a dick would sound particularly legible if it could talk. It'd get a lot of credit for just being audible. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, a, a talking dick. It, yeah. it may not know subject predicate, but it speaks, motherfucker. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> motherfucker doesn't have to be James Earl Jones. Like, it's fucking making noise. You got a meat flute. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would just play. I would just play, play the play the flute <laughs> uh, the flute loop from uh, uh, mask off from TV from my from, dick from the commercials. <laughs> That's what I do. Mask off, fuck it, mask I, off. Okay, hold on, real quick. The genie shows up. Yes or no? Yeah, it's just a gift. You can yeah. use it or not use it. Would you like? Is the only time I'm yeah. here. Yeah. You have one chance. Would you like the ability to blow air out of your dick? Roughly the equivalent of what you have in your lungs. Yes. Okay. It, 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 it doesn't affect my biology or anything. No. Right? I mean, I mean, you everything everything's the same normal thing, but I can put Dude, a I can I can make a balloon animal. By air that came out of my dick. Uh, uh, sure, that would be one thing. Uh, you could do it as a party trick. You could yeah. maybe Look take it on the road. <laughs> of course, no, it always hurts. You want to take it on the road. <laughs> no, this <laughs> is <laughs> Brian's. I learned this. This might have been one of my first Brian lessons. <laughs> the first time I hung out with this motherfucker is that whenever you get into, like, okay, so what if you could bleed from your fingers <laughs> but you could only think from your ears and like whatever whatever weird hypothetical situation all roads lead to Brian turns it into a sideshow act yeah like no matter how weird it is he's like but the money on the road <laughs> so that's I'd crush NACA okay so let's say <laughs> let's say you accept do you actually go on the road no why not? Because I would just like to fucking to save it. Blow a a a a, 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 hot, a little balloon with my with my peen at a pool party. <laughs> It'd be really fun. Because you could do it. You could. I could do like. I'm like stretching the balloon. And then I just like put it like there. Like I'm in. I'm in like way like high seventies like uh, like swim trunks. Maybe maybe even Speedo. Maybe we go Speedo. I'm like a full French Canadian. I got kind of a gut and a fucking gold chain on. Uh, uh, suit. And then uh, I stick it down my pants. 
my, my speedo, and then and then I'm, I'm talking about one of them long balloons, like tequila, and then a little dog. I give it to a child and I uh, leave. <laughs> Uh, let's let's punch that one up. Let's come back to that. And punch that one up. <laughs> you know what? It's what was That's in was the written. script. That's I was how about it was to written. say. We no rewrite. Time to punch it up. We're not. But the fucking, strike is on. We're not scabs. You. This cunt. is sorry. That's it. Run it. Cut. Print. <laughs> also, I'm totally made of scabs. Is that funny? I mean, you have to really picture me entirely made of. I really can't tell if it's tortured improv or a political statement. <laughs> Como no se dos? <laughs> <laughs> Price, we got a game. I can't possibly. I think it's Como se neither. Uh, hi, everybody. I got a game for you. It's a little thing I'm calling YouTube Lottery. Hey! hey! Uh, we're all going to take turns picking some random numbers and um, seeing if we can find some good uh, videos on YouTube. Do you know that there's a phenomena, especially back, back in the day, uh, where people would just upload their raw camera videos to YouTube or they yeah, would uh, 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 you, you could do stuff like Google like one dot JPG JP, JP mm, take two uh -huh. I'm made of scabs Just like the script <laughs> uh, one dot JPG or something like that you, I believe what? also I think um over the planet um uh, uh, no the little cameras flip cameras the flip cameras oh, yeah, would, yeah, yeah. would just would upload stuff with just just the raw MOV files. That's right. So we are gonna uh, uh, play a little bit of a lottery game. You're gonna give me a four digit random number. We're gonna look up uh, a raw video file on YouTube from that, and uh, no way this can go wrong. And uh, we'll all agree whether you get points or not, and we'll figure it out. Let's go. Oh five oh two. Oh five oh two. Is that a special special number for you, Justin? Motherfucking today. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey. We got some videos here. Which one? Uh, Best day in the world. I'm gonna scroll through. You tell you tell me when you see one. Oh, that is that like an aquarium? Yeah. You want this aquarium? I want this aquarium. What we got here. This is from uh, Eric Mann here on YouTube. This is from 11 years ago. Uh, All right, that sounds like uh, it's from Ohio. <laughs> it's like, hey, buddy. Is that a shrimp? Look at the, Look at the little shrimp. Sorry, are, are, are we guessing what it's going to be then? Or, or are we just judging which is the better video? No, we're, it's we're just gonna loose. We're just going to thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah. Oh, thumbs up on this. I mean, a, a fish jumping. Oh, look at that guy. It is a little shrimp. Shrimp. This little shrimp. Is uh, in an aquarium. I'm assuming. Uh, 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 can somebody who's not racist tell me if it's Chinese or Japanese? It sounds like it might be Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Like we might be in a uh, in a salon, possibly. Sort of. Uh... Look at this. This guy's obsessed with this shrimp. He loves his shrimp. He's got to get the whole B-roll, whole... He's got to get the whole... We, I got that B-roll. I, 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 I don't know that we get to judge him since we're watching his content in yes, we do. its entirety. I'll do it. Okay. Give me that shrimp. Thumbs up on the shrimp. <laughs> Big thumbs up for shrimp. I'm on the shrimp. I'm on the shrimp train. I'm on the shrimp. All right, let's uh, get some thumbs up or thumbs down. Brian. I, 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 thumbs up on that one, but but I think I can outdo it. I, unless you secretly hated that. It's not, um, a, it's not a rodeo. I'm sorry. The cinematography was poor. Oh. The story was lacking. Mm. And the third act was a mess. Thumbs down. Wow. Uh, uh, that's on you because you picked the wrong number. I have the right I number. I am... Martavius L. Hatem. <laughs> I'm the most sturgid critic Hatem. that has ever criticized. Martavius. Justin is no longer on the show. I will be taking over his duties for the remainder of this game. <laughs> Welcome to Inside the Historical Figures. I would like another clip. 
Please. <laughs> well, wait, it, I, 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 I know you're looking for a number, Bryce. By the uh, way, no, I'm, upon I'm not, Bryce's <laughs> review of the whale, I will say that it was <laughs> ponderous <laughs> and <laughs> wordy. I was pondering. Get to the point, Bryce. <laughs> We're waiting. Well, okay. Uh, before we do that, to I Brian's <laughs> critique of the Super Mario Brothers, I would give it several flames that I would shoot out of my nostril if I could. I give it four Cooper shells down. <laughs> That's what I review gets Ma four Cooper shells. Tavius Tatum. Critic. To the stars. <laughs> Does that make me a star, or that the people? No, another clip, please. Well, so just a, just a, a. I would. <laughs> I need to not like things to live. Okay, I give that. I'm like a shark. <laughs> okay, I gave that clip a thumbs up as well. Well, I thought it sucked shit. Yeah, we noticed. Brett, did you do thumbs up or thumbs down? I I liked it. Okay, that's three points for Justin. Hey, <laughs> hey! All right, Brian, give us a give us a number. Uh, <clears throat> six. Okay. Six. Mm. Six. Mm. <laughs> six. Mm. Tired. <laughs> six. Mm. Okay. What? Sorry, hey. Six. <laughs> All right, there we go. Six, 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 six. Yeah. Coming up for. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hater? Was that your name? Hate him. Hate him. Martavius. Hate him. Martavius. Hate him. Mm -hmm. Been a minute. Indeed. That's. Are you introducing <laughs> yourself as a new equal character? <laughs> You know what? I, uh, I've been a quiet admirer of yours. It's me. Positive hooray. <laughs> My arch nemesis. <laughs> I knew you'd show. Well, so predictable. Uh, Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> now that your hosts have left That's the show. Right. Uh, well, let's see. Or I guess I think that might be a few too many numbers here, but we've got some here. You just tell me when you see one that you want us to click on. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so do uh, use your sterling uh, aptitude the, the for quality. Is this one this guy? The white person. Okay, here we go. This is from uh, Peggy Andrews three years ago. Oh, whoa! Oh, this is a clip of someone playing uh, a slot game on. Twitch or something. Fifth next two. Whoa! Whoa! Looks right beautiful. Away, man. Hate him. Boom! That's my first 1500x on this fucking game. Possibilities are endless when gambling's on the line. <sighs> well, clearly, what we're seeing is some kind of trite string bean of a European male playing a online slot machine enough the about tedium me, of you late trust the video <laughs> the tedium of late stage capitalism bores me whittling away oh. their lives for the entertainment of others that are whittling away their lives i give it a thumbs down Ooh. thumbs down thumbs down i'm with I'm, I'm i'm with hatem you're giving a thumbs down for yeah. it yeah yeah you don't you know you don't think people should be winning uh slots i i i don't think people should be looking at slots wow 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 okay that's a th i'm also going to give this one a thumbs down on religious reasons brett what do you say <laughs> in this one time I am going to be in agreement with him. <laughs> that is a piece of shit video. Yeah, uh, there we go. Zero points for Brian on that one. Yep. Zero thumbs up on that one. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Upon further consideration, <laughs> knowing that the unwashed masses don't appreciate <laughs> this undercover gem, might I point everybody to the thrilling excitement of the tumbler 
the wide-eyed pupils of the player. Truly, this is the epitome of excitement for Hatem in the face of everybody else. I give a thumbs up. Oh, no! Oh. That's what you know I Ah, the meta-hate is a love. Hatem, hate I'd hate to uh, take anything away from you, but I'd always hoped you would uh, see the bigger picture. Uh, I secretly have also been giving this a thumbs up. Oh, whoa! Is oh. that crazy that the two different characters are doing the same thing? <laughs> wow! Okay, that's two points to Brian. The script was already written. It was. We can't do anything else. It was already written. All right, Justin, can you give me four random numbers, please? We'll go on to you. Yes. Uh. Uh. uh three, three. Seven. Seven. Six. So, nine. So good. Nice. Uh, I will also say nice. Okay, we are scrolling yeah. through here on YouTube. Let's uh, pick one. Let me know when you see one you like. Oh, and the concert one. Where okay. was the concert one? This is yeah. from Bradley McLaughlin from seven years ago. Oh, Mr. Peabody's? Oh. Oh. Mm. oh, yeah. Spread some positivity to everyone you see, including Mr. Hatem <laughs> and all who agree with me. <laughs> all those who agree. What is this song? Purple Rain. Is it Purple Rain? A very, a very uh, instrument forward version. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know who's on the mix. You know what? <laughs> but I, I think, I think they're doing Prince a favor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, give a thumbs up just for Brett's comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's get our, let's get our reviews. And Brian gave it a thumbs up. Uh, what is a uh, one Justin Robert Young thing? Uh, yeah. I, I think this sucks. Uh, it's uh, a, it's a bad band. It's a bad mix. The person's just sitting in the background recording it. Let me also make this point. I don't get people that just record concerts. Like, I mean, like, if you're going to record it, get the part of the song. If you love the band enough, then get, like, a little bit of a thing that you know is good in a song. I get posting that social media-wise. What I don't get is, like, I need to record this full concert on video with a cell phone. I've never really gotten that. I know maybe I'm missing something. Well, I, 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 I had the exact same thought when I was going to what was supposed to be a 15 minute long showcase set with the Foo Fighters. And then they said the words, we're supposed to do 15 minutes, but instead we're going to play our entire unreleased upcoming album. And I thought, what would Justin do? And I didn't do it and I recorded the whole thing. Which you play every Christmas. Yep. Uh, How many times have you watched that video? Because that is a great reason to record it. Wh whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That's my only point. My yeah. only point is that, that, yeah. that, that the utility of it, I, I would get it if you then ripped it and we were like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to listen to it on my phone or something like that because now I have... The, the Foo Fighters new album before no, I'm anybody totally else. I'm on your side. I'm, yeah. I'm less positive now. Okay, well... Uh, uh, thumbs down. Oh, uh, okay. So we got two thumbs down. Two thumbs way down. Brett, what do you think? Did you like this? Uh, I oh. mean... Oh. Oh, oh, I mean, there are pretty colors in it, and uh, for it that... Look, it looks like a bar. Like, it was like a bar guy, stage. And the guy, you know, he's working hard even though we can't hear him. So, oh, uh, yeah. Oh. You want to double give down? It a on? Thumbs up. Oh. It's all a strong <laughs> thumbs up. There you go. I Wait, also can we can we see? Can we do some sleuthing on where that was? Can you see what the name of the bar is? There's a like... neon sign that says Mr. Peabody's. So my guess is going to be something like that. Uh, yeah. uh, can you just look up <laughs> Mr. Peabody's? Can we do a little googling, a little sleuthing? Mr. Peabody's bar. Yeah. Let's be CSI. It, it looks as if that it's from Mr. Peabody's. Uh, uh, let's let's run a trace. Enhance. Chung chung. Uh, let's see. There are a lot of Mr. Peabody's. There's a uh, uh, let's see. 
uh, San Diego, uh, Del Mar. Uh, there's there's a <laughs> Carlsbad. <lot. laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I, 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 I'm gonna take a swing and say that this is the Mr. Peabody's Bar and Grill live music in uh, Encinas, California. Encino. Encitas. Encitas. Oh, oh, it is. It, it is. I found it. You oh found the God. bar. I did find we it. We traced it. We back We did it. We won it. We did it right at. Told you to stay positive. <laughs> yeah? All right. Let's leave a review. Uh, okay. Here we Title go. There your it is. That's it, isn't it? That's it. Yep. That's it. And she's doing a version of Purple Rain. Title your YouTube videos, dicks. Yeah, I got it. Uh, but on your account. So uh, uh, I believe Justin and I both gave it a big thumbs up. So make sure to let them know. Thanks, thanks, man. That we give it a big thumbs up. Oh yeah, fuck! Whenever we talk shit about people online and then they know about it, then they usually watch the show. Okay, I hey took it out, Mr. Peabody's. uh, We love it. We love you. It's a great stage. We'll play a live show there, and play Purple Rain. (laughs) And everyone will record the show with their phone. Yeah, (laughs) and upload it without a title. Yep, that sounds right. Uh, okay, so that is uh, 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 one point for Justin on that one. Congrats to Justin. Nailed it. Woo. I got a number. Brett, uh, uh, Brett, what is the score that... Oh, uh, what's the score, Brett? As, as you can see, oh. and I'm figuring it out, uh, <laughs> our friend Brian has four points. Uh, our friend Justin has two points. I think, uh, I think. Did I get it wrong? I think you might have those backwards, my friend. What? <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! No, that's that <laughs> my my friend. That Justin, last one was just sometimes a... I think our friends get a little bit confused. No. <laughs> no bro- I heard points for Brian, and then uh huh. It <sighs> just it, it you got it you got it backwards. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just it's you got it. I mean, <sighs> you could just keep the colors. This okay. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one here. Brian, can I get you to give me three random numbers, please? Three random yes. digits. One. Hmm? Zero. That's it. Okay. Uh, just well, like no, it's a four-digit number. You need no, a four-digit no, no, no. number. The dereliction of uh, all of yeah. the No, you just need I a four-digit for. number. Ask for a three-digit number, even. Uh, three more zeros. Love it. One, zero, zero, zero. Well, I mean, one, zero... And then also three more zeros. But One I, zero. I, I bet that won't work. Return. Now that I think about it. Close window. <laughs> open new window. <laughs> two zeros. Nine, 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 eight, three. There we go. Nine, nine, eight, three. Okay. That's nine, nine, eight, three. There yep. we go. Yep. Uh, we're here on YouTube. As, as, as the buck puts it in the chat, this is a show. Yep. <laughs> We got some pictures here. Uh, uh, let me know when you see one that you like. Uh, well, uh, what was that dude standing in front of a, a truck or something at the top? Oh, yeah, this, there you this go. guy from Kelly Automotive Group seven years ago. Let's take a listen. Mm. This is Connor. He is buying a Camaro, trading in a Camaro. Connor, in a few words, just please tell us how your experience at Kelly Chevrolet's been. It's been really welcoming. It's been a lot of fun. Great people. Um, awesome deal, honestly. I highly recommend coming to them. But, I mean, I got my Corvette-powered Camaro, so I'm pretty stoked for it. Awesome. Well, Connor, thank you for your business. Enjoy your new car, okay? Thank you so much. All right, so we're live now on Great Night. (laughs) I want to know how Justin's doing. Justin, can you describe your experience on Great Night? You know, honestly, uh, great people, great times, great friends, great deal. Uh, I get paid on Patreon. That's great. Um, you know, I would say I would encourage everybody to come on. Come on a great night. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> let's go around the horn. Brett, let's start with you. Thumbs up, thumbs down on Connor getting that Camaro. Well, Connor I didn't like, but boy, I sure liked what happened up here. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, thumbs up. Okay. Thumbs up. <laughs> Justin, how do you feel about Connor and his Camaro? Camaro Cano. Fine line between that and the bang bus. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, this is your video. How do you feel about it? Did you like it? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. I'm going to give this one a thumbs down. I'm a Ford guy. That's a thumbs down for that. That's three points for Brian. Okay. 
Actual groans in the audience when I said I was a Ford guy. Thanks for the joking, everybody. Good, good jokes. <laughs> comedy at the comedy show, not judgment. Look, man, people take their cars seriously, like Cameron. Cameron took his car seriously. It's why he took his car to what, Calibrio Chevrolet or whatever. It was Connor <laughs> buying so a Camaro at Kelly. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I got yeah. me a Camaro. All right. That's Connor three. bought a Camaro. No, he traded in a Camaro and bought a Camaro. Oh, aren't you up with the deep lore? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my Connor. Check the wiki, dick. Uh, <laughs> duh. Uh, Real Connor heads no. <laughs> All right, Justin, uh, this one's... So that was three points to Brian on that one. Justin, uh, can you give me four random digits, please? Two, nine, three, seven. Two, nine, three, seven. Is that a special number for you? I mean, Fuck it's no. just the last four digits of your social security number. Yep, that That's is. weird. All right, we got some clips here. There's a basketball. Looks like a guy singing karaoke. Maybe a river. That's a child. No, nah, keep going. That. Keep That's going. Keep Blaine. going with the guy. Blaine. That's a festival. No. What the hell's that? Looking at back of train, MOV from- Yes, let's go. Okay, this is from James Ray channel here on YouTube. This was from uh, uh, a number of years ago, 12 years ago. Oh, you're fine. What? <laughs> Bryce, cue it up again. Cue it up again. From the description. No, the volume needs to be louder. <laughs> Got it. The volume needs to be louder. Oh, you're fine. Thank you. You are fine. I like, I like the blessing. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> So uh, from the description, Pacific Railroad Society Special, April 2nd, 2011. Most of the consist is chartered Amtrak equipment, but the final two cars are private. A CZ Dome and a Pullman Sleeper belonging to the PRS. Wow. Wow. So how, how, how do you want to rate this? Considering class privilege, you yeah. go on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and obviously also considering that you're giving yourself points. So yeah. Uh, so obviously, number okay. one, it is a beautiful engineering achievement, mm. <laughs> the railroad. Yep. I think that we need to understand that uh, you're you're fine. Something we heard in the video. Yep. Hey, uh -huh. Brian, you're fine. That's something that I learned on the internet just now <laughs> in this video. That message, you're fine. <laughs> Universal, comforting. Something I feel like we wish, we wish we all heard in our moments of trouble. Whether or not we are being offensive <laughs> to our fellow man, putting strain on a good friendship, or maybe even getting in somebody's way while you're on the Pacific Railroad. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> I'm fine. And this video, well, it's more than fine. It's great. Big thumbs up. Wow, there we go. Big thumb up from Justin on you this You know I am a champion of positivity. And I know when I see it. You're right. Even though you're ignoring me to look at your watch. Sorry, the Rays beat the Pirates. I don't <laughs> fucking... My, my watch tells me it. Like, what do you want me to do? Why did you tell us? We're sorry. We're sorry that the Rays beat the Pirates. I am. I like the Pirates. <laughs> you didn't I have to point it out. Point. Now it's a thumbs down. Oh, <laughs> no. Down. No. Hey, uh, Brian. What? You're fine. Oh. Hey, you're fine. You know what? Yeah. Thank you for affirming my thumbs down vote. God oh, damn it. No. Brett, what are you feeling? Are you feeling fine? I loves me a train. And I'm just so grateful that Justin is showing his support for Joe Biden by giving this train thing a, a thumbs up. Yeah. I also will give, I'm giving you a thumbs up. Do you know why? We did it, Joe. You're fine. Hey, look at that. Hey. That's right. Prize. Uh, oh boy, I'm gonna have to watch it again here. Just like <laughs> the long video. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> ah, <man. laughs>
It's like I'm, well, it's like I'm really the fine. Best presidential Can we get ever? that on the board? Just know you're fine. Just on the board. No, you're fine. <laughs> Uh, I, feel, I feel like I really am fine. I'm going to give that one a thumbs up as well. That's three points to Justin. Boom. Okay, let's. Uh, we're going to get ready for our. By the way, that's a straight win. adaptation, so that's not WGA. You can just make a movie out of that. Yep. <laughs> that's right. Okay, it is uh, our final round. Let's take a quick look at the score, Brett, and I think you got it for us. What I is got it? it right this time. We've got Brian with five points. Yep. We've got Justin, who's fine. With seven points. Uh, no, you're fine. Go. All right, this is our final round. Our fine round. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Well done. Uh, we're going to do for 10 points oh. here. Uh, uh, because they're uh, 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 in the lead, uh, Just uh, who's in the lead? Justin? Justin is in the lead. Justin, why don't you give me uh, the final numbers for this game? Nine. Nine. One. Uh-oh. One. Eight. Eight. Two. Two. There we go. Mm -hmm. Nine, one, eight, two. Mm -hmm. We got some pictures here. We're looking through YouTube. That's uh, a kid. There's like a, a dance. Oh, there's. Come on. A <laughs> there's a very close up pictures of girls. It's some. <laughs> Yeah, she's wearing a maid. We, There's a monkey. We got a monkey. Yes, monkey. keep going, keep going, keep going. Go. Uh, Moemi's happy birthday. No, no. How weird does it get? Well, we're Depends. finding out. We gotta out. keep scrolling. Uh, I gotta go through these past ones here. Uh, is this like a restaurant, maybe? A same restaurant? Are these the same restaurant? Yeah, yeah, I like that restaurant shit. I don't know. I like. I like Give that me dude. that so restaurant so shit. Come on. Uh, the bedroom. There's a cat. Okay, we'll check out the restaurant. Uh, the bat. The restaurant stuff here. Uh, this is from a few years ago. This is about thirty seconds long. It's our friend from OG Design. Let's take a listen here. <laughs> They're fucking tearing that shit up. Yeah. 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 Irish people. <laughs> Justin. All right. For 10 points somehow. Yeah. Thumbs Would you like up to or down? Vote for yourself? No, I don't like the Irish boo. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. That Get out. We're full. I think you just talked me into. <laughs> I think I do like it yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> no, You know, I'm, I'm a temperance man. <laughs> Enough of you ruffians ruining our cities. Yeah. There you go. Sucks. Boo. You're out of here. Brett, what uh, do you think? Oh. I thought it was good. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. That's a thumbs up from Brian. Brett? Loves me a potato. <laughs> loves me the Irish. So it's thumbs up. I thought there were lyrics. I was going to ask Brian if he had heard them. And then, but it's okay. I thought they were lyrics, Brian. <laughs> Never oh, you, you want me he's, to he's, perform? He's, 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 he's throw something your way. But he's pimping you to do lyrics <laughs> on that song. Everybody loves Star Trek. Star Trek is the best. What's up with old Data? He's kind of cool. A little bit moody, you see. Anyway, they put this out again with the captain not to kill them. I can't wait until the card gets away. Give us all the other folks in the good old Star Trek universe. <laughs> yep. There That's exactly what I heard too. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That line. Picard finale spoilers. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, and I'm going to give that one a thumbs up. For hey, the just, heart. just kidding, y'all. I love Irish people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was just fun in. Uh, the only quarrel I've ever had with Irish people was one time I got kicked out of a bar in Boston because I asked for an Irish car bomb because I didn't know it was offensive. I'm sorry. <laughs> It wasn't my time. You I have to just ask them for really like that shot. All right. Uh, after crunching all of the numbers here, beep, 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 the winner is the Irish. Yay! Yay! Price one more time. <laughs> 
If you have an idea for a game, please send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anyway, now that we're in the month of March, we've got all sorts of fun for you. We've got the uh, Q&A episode of World's Greatest Con coming up. We've got a bunch of awesome shit that's happening. Actually, I'm looking forward to not plugging things for a little bit because we've been in the heavy plug season recently. Shit, we forgot to plug that. Get ready for no plugging season. Oh, it's going to be huge. Oh, right shit. We know, there, is, there is one more thing that we not do need to plug. Not one plug. We do need to plug one thing. <laughs> uh, we, this is the first of many plugs for this event. Oh. Uh, next, when? This is day. What? No, what, 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 what day is Founders Day next year? Oh, April, uh, 8th. April 8th. April, April 8th. 8th. Next, 2024. April 8th. It's a Monday. Yeah. You're going to want to make yourself available for a long weekend mm -hmm. uh, because it's going to be the eclipse. It's going to be Founders Day. It's going to be bigger than it's ever been. It's going to be bolder, better than it's ever been. And Uncut. you now have the ability to lock in your uh your, uh, I, your spot I, yeah i think we're 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 calling it like a, a save your spot it's it's a uh, hundred bucks and it applies to the ticket price we have to figure out how much money we're going to spend to do the event and we don't know that yet but if you just want to be assured that Correct. you have a spot now it's it's a hundred bucks and uh, uh throw your lot in now because the interest that has been coming in on this anecdotally is intense uh uh, part of this to be totally to open the kimono a little bit is just to see facility wise <laughs> how many like, people we can physically what is, handle. What is the what, turns, what is the turns reality out that there? Nobody was joking when they said they were going to sit out this year and wait till next year. <laughs> no, yeah. So so this has been out there for a couple days. How would you gauge the reaction? Overwhelming. <laughs> open Bayou, yes. Get your room, we're being told. Get your room. Get your Monosymbolic room. Monosymbolic replances. If okay, you're not yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Open Bayou is saying that rooms are already in the uh, uh, Austin Dripping Springs area for seven hundred dollars a night. Uh, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ! All the way up to Round Rock, he says. Uh, so Not yeah. Far, uh, 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 don't think about that. Think about giving Brian a hundred dollars <laughs> and then figure out all the rest later. Uh, yeah. Uh, so there we go, and then we're done plugging. After April 8th, next year. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, Brett, what have we learned? What have we learned? Well, Justin, we've learned oh, that Vruder strikes are a snood thing. We know that whale beef is the most delicious beef. Tasty. And we know that I now have a camera <laughs> just for myself, and I love it. And also, loves me a train. Loves me a potato. Loves me this show. You know, like a girl that's a hero. Come on. Yeah. Thank you. You know what? I, you actually melted my heart. Thank you very much, Brett. <laughs> uh, 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 despite the schmaltzy wrap up, uh, it's, it's still been a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamond. <laughs>